All right, let's begin to tackle a subject that, you know, maybe you don't want to talk about, but you know, hey, maybe we're at the point where, you know, we need to talk about it. Let's talk about depression. What exactly is it? Let's define it. And then let's see if maybe we're dealing with it or have dealt with it. And then let's figure out what to do about it. Well, obviously we all in life come under pressure and anxiety and things. And we have this sense of sadness and emptiness from time to time. But I'm going to list some things for you that maybe you can identify in your life or the life of your friend that might actually start to say that, hey, we're dealing with some depression. First of all, in depression, some things are going to begin to decrease. Your pleasure, your level of pleasure, your activity, your energy level is going to begin to decrease. And it's going to become more and more difficult for one who is depressed to think and to process and to reason out problems and, and just get in there mentally and handle situations. There's always changes, not always, but often changes in sleep, in appetite, in the rhythm of your body tends to get interrupted, and you're off base. Now there's some things that increase too, agitation, frustration, you know, feelings of wanting to isolate, be by yourself, just becoming lethargic, couch potato kind of thing. Maybe even you think about, man, I'm done with this. I'm quitting, I'm quitting school, I'm quitting this relationship. You may even start to entertain thoughts about death and then, you know, you start to get into these attitudes like maybe I'm going to take my own life. Now we're getting into an area where we need to start not only identifying, but figuring out how we're going to get out of the situation. As I said, we all go through these occasional mood swings and ups and downs where feelings start to take over and they start to interface with our everyday life and then it starts to affect our schoolwork, our family, our workplace, our performance, our relationships our marriages, our parenting, and on and on. And now you find yourself more the object of your feelings, telling you what's gonna happen rather than you taking control of how you feel. Now, if that type of sym symptomatic stuff's going on in your life or has been going on in your life for two weeks or more, you are likely dealing with some form of depression. Now, three to 5% of people in the population have to deal at some time in their life, if not once, maybe more than once, with what we call major depression. 17% of the population has a likelihood they're gonna deal with major depression at some time in their life. And women, check this out, you are one and a half to three times more likely to have to deal with and manage an issue or an elongated period of depression than is a male. I'm not saying it's fair, but that is reality. So where does this depression lasting more than two weeks, kind of coming on us and staying there for a while, where does it come from? Well, usually it's a combination of all three or any one of these three. It has a psychological origin, it has a biological origin, or it has an environmental origin. And on Life Points, you're going to see a series of videos that talk about depression beyond defining it, different kinds of depression, the causes, and how we get out of these situations. So I'm hoping that these series of videos help. As you go through these videos, check this out. This is the life point. Where does truth intersect everyday life? Let me give you something that Christ said. Come unto me, that means get up from where you are and come to me, all, that includes you and that includes me, all who are weary. That sounds depressing. And heavy laden. Heavy laden with what? Anxiety, stress loss, frustration, the weightiness of sadness and emptiness, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you what? I will give you rest. It's funny, in depression, we rest a lot, we sleep a lot, we sit still a lot, but we never have any energy. That's not rest. The rest that God is talking about is a rest of himself given to you. He wants to give himself to you to get you out of that and deliver you out of that major episode of depression. And that's what these series of videos are gonna do and I hope he gives me some insight how to help you find your way out of that wilderness so that we can get out into the light again and begin to function. So check out this series of videos on Life Points and know that we care about you and we love you and we want you and us to be free of these ongoing issues that are seemingly isolating us from everyone else in the world and keeping us from being joyous, fruitful, and productive. I hope you enjoy them.